Praise God. <clears throat> what a mighty God we serve. Praise God. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, oh, we serve a good God. I'm excited about the Lord Jesus. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Glad to see you jumping on here tonight, logging on to be a part of this awesome Bible study. Praise God. Thank you guys for joining this broadcast. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you guys, sharing the Word of God, going into the Word of God. Amen. You know, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 17, the Bible says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And if there is ever a time the people of God need the Word of God, it is right now in these wicked times that we are living in. Amen. You know, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Also, the Bible says in Psalms chapter 119, verse 105, the Bible says, thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Wow. We got to have the word of God. Amen. Are you hungry for the word of God on tonight? Are you hungry for the word of God on tonight? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Listen, do me a favor. If this is your first time being a part of our broadcast, I want you to invite some of your friends and followers to be a part of this Bible study. So if you're on an Android device, swipe from the bottom going up and invite some of your friends. If you're on an iPhone, I believe you should swipe from the left to right or right to left and just invite some of your followers to be a part of this Bible study. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited about the Word of God. We're going to talk about the Holy Ghost tonight. I believe maybe the rest of this week I'm going to take some time out and really get into the Word of God with you guys and teach on the Holy Ghost. I remember I asked that question, I believe, a week ago, or two weeks ago, and many of you say, yes, please do some teaching on the Holy Ghost. So we're going to take, we're going to take some time out here these next few days, and we are going to go deep into the Word of God, and we are going to be teaching on the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost, I mean, He is a person. He is real. Amen? And this is a very important topic for us to be digging into but you're going to be blessed amen god bless you god bless you god bless you yes i I'm, you know we feel like this is part of my call in life as well it's to teach on the holy spirit amen it's part of my call from god to teach on signs wonders and miracles to teach on the holy ghost to help the people of god amen with the word of god so before we jump into the word of god i want us to I want us to join all of us, let's, let, let's all of us, let's join our faith together because the Holy Ghost is going to use this word to minister to you. You're going to see the importance, you're going to see the importance of the word of God in your life. Amen? Because we serve an awesome God. We serve an absolutely awesome God who loves his people. So we're talking about, we're talking about tonight the Holy Ghost, your comforter. I believe this topic is going to change someone's life tonight. Let's, let's go to God in prayer. Father God, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, I welcome your people on this broadcast. As we go into the word of God, we pray for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge and might. God, we pray that signs, wonders, and miracles would follow the teaching of your word tonight. Take us deeper in the word of God. Strengthen our relationship with Jesus tonight as we look into the word of God. God, you said the Holy Ghost will be a comforter to us. I pray that you open our understanding to comprehend what the Lord Jesus is saying to the church tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen. Well, listen, welcome again to this live broadcast. Are you guys enjoying Periscope? I'm loving it. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Praise God. I'm loving it. Amen. We got to take advantage of technology when God put it in our hands. Amen. So we're talking about tonight, we're talking about the Holy Ghost, your comforter. So we're going straight into the word of God. 
into the book of John. We go on into the book of John chapter 14. The Holy Ghost, your comforter. And remember, if some of you just joined, please invite some of your friends, invite your followers to be a part of this broadcast. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to, I want to, I mean, let me get back to John. I was in another chapter there, but let me get back to John. Are you excited about tonight? Are you excited to be a part of this awesome Bible study? Welcome. We love you guys. Watch this. Now, Jesus makes a statement here in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 16. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said, and I will pray to the Father. He said, and I will pray to the Father. And he shall, that's without a doubt, because we know if anyone's prayer going to be answered, it's the Lord Jesus. So Jesus said, and I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Wow. These are some powerful words. Now watch this, Jesus. Then he begins to explain it even more in verse 17. He said, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not, neither does the world know him. But you are going to know him for he is going to dwell with you and shall be in you. And then he says something very powerful in verse 18. <coughs> Excuse me. Then Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. Then he said, I will come to you. Now, when he said, I will not leave you comfortless, that word comfortless right there means that he's not going to abandon you. He's not going to leave you as an orphan without, without parents. Being an orphan is not a bad thing. We're we just using this example here. So Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you to figure this thing out on your own. Are you hearing me? Ain't that awesome right there? So he says, the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, I'm, he's not going to leave you comfortless. In other words, I'm getting ready to ascend and go back to my father after my crucifixion, my death, my burial, and my resurrection. And then he makes a powerful statement because he said, it's expedient for you. It's better for you that I go away because if I don't go, the Holy Ghost will not come. But if I go, the Holy Ghost is coming, and exactly what the Holy Ghost empowered me to do, exactly what he did through my life on this earth, the Holy Spirit is going to equip you and enable you to do the exact same kind of miracles that I was able to perform. My God, that's a mouthful right there. So he says, I'm going to pray to the Father, and, and he will give you another comforter. That The Greek word for another right there is alon, which means, that's A-L-O-N, another of the same exact kind. Glory to God. That means the Holy Ghost is coming to be my representative on this earth, and whatever I was to you, the Holy Ghost is going to be that to you when he gets there. So Jesus said, the same way I was able to comfort you. I was able to lead you, teach you, guide you, instruct you, show you things to come, help you understand and comprehend the things of God. He said, when the Holy Ghost comes, that's exactly what the Holy Ghost is going to do in your life. Wow, powerful stuff. So he says, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Listen, friends, I want you to hear me good. Think about this for a second. If Jesus, Jesus couldn't even come on this earth as a baby without the Holy Ghost. Think about this. He was conceived in Mary's womb by the Holy Ghost. Remember, Mary said, look, how in the world am I going to get pregnant? I don't know any man. I ain't never touched nobody. The angel said, the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. And Jesus is going to be conceived by the Holy Ghost. Just think about this. Think about it. Jesus couldn't even come to this earth without the Holy Ghost. Now, you know, if Jesus couldn't come without the Holy Ghost, you know, we need the Holy Ghost. Hello, somebody. Think about it. So Jesus was born of the spirit of God. How were me and you born again? Me and you were born again by the Holy Ghost, because Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the spirit 
is spirit. And me and you are born again by the spirit of the living God. Now think about it. Jesus was born of the spirit of God. We were born of the spirit of God. Amen. And then he said in Luke 4, 18, I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's all right. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is up on me because because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Think about it. Jesus could not even preach without the Holy Ghost empowering him and anointing him. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, my African sister. Now watch this. Jesus could not even teach and preach without the anointing of the Holy Ghost on his life. Do you see this? Now watch this. I preached a message a, few, uh, a while back, about 10 years ago, called Total Dependence on the Holy Ghost. And I went through the scriptures and showed how Christ was totally dependent on the Holy Ghost. Now if Jesus, the Son of God, God in the flesh, had to depend on the Holy Ghost, guess what, friends? Me and you got to have the Holy Ghost. We can't do it without the Holy Ghost. Amen? Now watch this. I want you to see this verse here. This stuff is good. Now let's jump right on down into verse 26 of John chapter 14. So Jesus said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name. We're going to pick these verses to pieces. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, listen to what Jesus said, he shall teach you all things. He is going to teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So Jesus said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Now I want to I want to take I want to take my time here and show you what that word comforter means because all of these things just help us to have a greater understanding of what the Lord's saying to us and to help us understand the purpose of the Holy Ghost in our life. Amen. The Holy Ghost is in your life more than just to make you shout, scream, all speak in tongues and roll on the floor and followed under the power. No, he has a greater purpose in your life. Watch this. Watch this. Give me one second here. Yeah? I gotta jump back and gotta jump into my notes. The word comforter right there means, watch this now, means that one who is called to one's side, one who is called to one's aid, one who pleads another's cause before a judge. In other words, a legal defense an intercessor. Are you listening to me? So the Holy Ghost, he is called alongside you to help you, to support you, to open your understanding, to help you comprehend the things of the Spirit of God, to help you comprehend the written Word of God. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't even understand the Word of God. I don't care which university you go to. Trust me, I'm not against knowledge. I went to Bible college. But I'm telling you, without the Holy Ghost, you cannot understand the Scriptures. Are you hearing me tonight? Watch this now. Let's jump back. So this is what the word comforter means. Let's jump back into that verse. We got to break it down some more. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Now, now you got to pay attention to this. So Jesus said, when the Holy Ghost comes, he is coming in my name, in my place, in my stead, in my authority. Are you hearing me? So listen, Jesus said the Holy Ghost is coming in his name. And that's why it's so important when we pray for people that we remember we pray in the name of Jesus. Because when we said we ask this in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost goes to work. Because Jesus said the Holy Ghost is coming in my name, in my place, in my authority. And you got to remember when Jesus raised from the dead, he said all power on heaven and earth is given to me, which means all power, all authority, authority in heaven and on earth is given to the Holy Ghost. And where does the Holy Ghost live? The apostle Paul says, no, e not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. That's why the Bible declares no weapon that's formed against you should be able to prosper. Why? Because the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost lives 
on the inside of you. He is the one that equips you. He is the one that empowers you. He is the one that anoints you to trample on the works of the devil. Are you hearing me? In, in Psalms 124, the Bible says, the snare is broken and we are escaped. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm trying to teach, but I'm going to preach myself happy for just a minute here. Are you hearing me? The Bible says the snare is broken. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, he said the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And the Holy Ghost lives in you. You are anointed. You are appointed. You are chosen. You are equipped. You are not a nobody. You are somebody because we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You are full Fully loaded. Are you hearing me, friend? I said you are fully loaded. The Holy Ghost lives in you. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, lives in you. God the Father lives in you. All you need is already deposited on the inside of you. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? You are fully loaded. There ain't enough devils that can wipe you out. No form of witchcraft. I don't care how they curse you. I don't. They can take your name and bury it in a graveyard. It can't do you a thing because you are fully loaded. The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of you. You are anointed. David said, he anoints my head with oil. My cup, it runs over. My God, who am I preaching to tonight? You need to remember, you are not alone. Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. The Holy Ghost is in you. That's why Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, that's why the Bible says now, right now. Someone said, say right now. Say right now. So the Bible says now unto him that is able, my God, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think, but pay attention to this part, but it's according to the power that works in you. What power is it that's working in you? It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come on you. Luke chapter 24 verse 49, when Jesus was about to ascend back into heaven, he looked at the apostles. He said, go tarry in the city of Jerusalem. I want you to tarry until you be endued with power from on high. Who is it that I'm preaching to tonight? You need to know that you've been equipped. You've been empowered by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And when God washed you in the blood of Jesus, Jesus, when he anointed you by the spirit of God, it made you somebody. That's why you can do all things through Christ Jesus who love you because the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of you. And it's the Holy Ghost that empowers you. It's the Holy Ghost that equips you to get the supernatural job done. Can someone shout yes? Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. So Jesus said, the Holy Ghost, he is going to be your comforter. That's why you got to remember this because sometimes, sometimes in life, you feel abandoned. You feel forsaken. But listen, remember Jesus' words when, when all the disciples fled from him because they came to crucify him. Jesus said, you know what? It may seem like I'm alone. But I'm not alone because the Father is with me. The Holy Ghost is with me. So I don't care which situation, and I feel this in my heart. I don't care what situation you are, you are dealing with right now. You may feel abandoned. You may feel like everyone turned their back on you and forsook you. But God wants you to know right now, the Holy Ghost is with you. Are you hearing me? Jesus said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you, but I'm going to be with you even unto the end. My God, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are loaded. Rise up, man of God. Rise up, woman of God. Sometimes we need to be reminded. You know, you can go through such intense demonic attacks 
on your mind. That's that you, you, you forget some of the promises sometimes. That's why we need a preacher that's full of the Holy Ghost declaring the word of God in our lives. We need to be reminded, my God. So the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. We need a word from God. And the word for you tonight is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. He's the one that brings the peace of God to you. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, friend? You are not alone. So in verse 26 of John 14, Jesus said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, in my stead, in my authority. Watch what the Holy Ghost is going to do when he comes. Jesus said, He shall teach you you all things. Are you listening to me? He is going to teach the things of God to you. Not only the things of God, because concerning Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible says God gave them wisdom, knowledge, and skill in all learning and understanding. That was an impartation of the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? Watch this now. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 9, the Bible says, remember Joshua. Come on, you know Joshua, the one who marched around the walls of Jericho and God gave him an awesome victory. The Bible says Joshua was full of, of the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid his hands on Joshua. Now, wait a minute. That's a big clue right there because what the Holy Ghost reveals to us through that scripture is that Moses was able to accomplish all of what he accomplished because Moses himself was full of the Holy Ghost. It was the spirit of God through Moses <clears throat> working those great signs great oneness and miracles against Pharaoh. Are you hearing me? The Bible says Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid his hands on him. And a man of God that's full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, you can receive an impartation just listening to their CDs, just watching their videotapes, watching their broadcast, watching their program. That's why many of you <clears throat> on this broadcast, you feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming through coming through your computer or through your smartphone. You could feel the presence of God. What's happening in your life. You, you want me to help you understand what's happening in your life, friend? You are receiving an impartation of the anointing of the Spirit of God that he has deposited on my life and on the life of my wife. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. You're looking at a man that fast, fasted 40 days four times. That's how we tapped into the miracle working power of God. We pay the price. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost that even empowers you to be able to fast like that and seek God like that. You can't do these things without the Spirit of God. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing without the Holy Ghost. You can you you can do absolutely nothing. You would be a failure. You would bomb out without the Holy Ghost. But with the Holy Ghost, with the empowerment of the Holy Ghost, my God, you will be the number one. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that God imparted to those men, the Bible says when they stood, excuse me. <coughs> The Bible says when they stood before the king and he interviewed those men, the Bible said the king found them to be 10 times wiser than everybody else in his kingdom. Oh my God, are you listening to me? The Holy Ghost will make you 10 times wiser to the point that your boss man would have to come to you for solutions. Are you hearing me? And that was the main reason, remember Joseph was able to interpret Pharaoh's dream. Have you ever asked yourself, how on earth how did God equip Joseph to interpret Pharaoh's dream? I'll tell you how. Pharaoh said, wait a minute. We got to promote this man. Pharaoh said, can we find a man such as this? A man in whom is the spirit of God. 
good. So Joseph didn't get promoted because he was so smart. He got promoted because it was the Holy Ghost in Joseph, giving him supernatural insight, giving him supernatural wisdom to interpret Pharaoh's dream and solve a problem. Are you hearing me? You're supposed to be the number one on that job. Why? Because you are full of the Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, when he, the spirit of the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, when he come, he is going to teach you all things. Are you hearing me? You know, you, 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 you are praying about that business idea. God, how is this? God, you've given me a great business idea. How am I going to bring this thing to pass? The Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? Your answer is the Holy Ghost. And let me tell you, friend, I fall into this trap sometimes. Anytime I catch myself becoming too frustrated, trying to figure things out, God always have to remind me. He said, whoa. He... I'm back. Sorry about that, friends. I'm back. <laughs> we got to get back into this word. <laughs> you guys are faithful. I am so sorry about that. We, we, got, we got knocked off just now. But listen, I got to get back on this word here. Are you enjoying this word tonight? Are you enjoying this word? That, that, that almost died. Yes, he is. <laughs> but but listen, listen here, friend. Now, where was I? Where was I? You got to help me. I'm 42. I'm getting older. W which point was I on just now? <laughs> I got distracted just for a few seconds there. Which point was I on? Come on. Come on, you smart students. Help me out here. Verse 26. Thank you, my brother down there. Down there in Orlando, Florida, right? <laughs> Praise God. So, so listen, I was talking about it's the Holy Ghost that made Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it was the Holy Ghost that made them 10 times wiser. And it was the Holy, this way I was, it was the Holy Ghost that gave Joseph supernatural wisdom to be able to interpret Pharaoh's dream. Are you hearing me? That, that was the sole reason that Joseph was promoted. You know, we always, we always talk about, we always talk about, wow, Joseph, he had favor, uh, 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 uh. No, it was the it was the spirit of God on Joseph's life that caused these things to happen. Without the Holy Ghost, Joseph couldn't interpret nobody's dream. Are you hearing me? And Pharaoh, Pharaoh, a worldly man, a worldly king, recognized, wait a minute, my warlocks, my witches can't even interpret this dream, but here's a man who got wisdom from the Holy Ghost. Listen, the Holy Ghost will solve all of your problems. Are you listening to me? So Jesus said, Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth has come, no, no, I'm thinking about another chapter. I'm not dead. I'm getting ahead of myself. So Jesus said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. How much things is he going to teach you? Some things. Jesus said all things. That means everything you need to know to be a success in God's kingdom, according to his will, <clears throat> excuse me, according to his plan, according to his purpose for your life, the Holy Ghost will impart that wisdom unto you. Listen here. You know why I want you to see this? Because we all, sometimes you get caught up thinking, oh, well, if I just meet the right person, if I just make this connection. No, listen, friend, I made those mistakes. And God had to teach me and my wife from the Bible. Your answer is the Holy Ghost. Man, I'm teaching someone here tonight. Your answer is the Holy Ghost. Your answer is not on the outside. Your answer has already been deposited in you. The Spirit of God, when you gave your heart to Jesus, the Holy Ghost came to live in your life. Are you listening to me? The answer is the Holy Ghost. You are praying, God, how, how to get better at, at this job that I'm on? What do I need to do to become a manager? What do I need to do to run this whole, this whole area? Listen, the Holy Ghost, are you hearing me? The Holy Ghost, you know, listen, I, I was about to say this. 
We always talk about the favor that was on Joseph. Listen, do you know one of the names, and we're going to go deeper into this in the next couple of days. Do you know one of the names of the Holy Ghost? I believe it's Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. He's called the spirit of grace. Do you know that word grace right there means favor? So one of the names and manifestations of the Holy Ghost is called the spirit of favor. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you hearing me? One of the names of the Holy Ghost is called the spirit of grace, which means favor. So one of his manifestations is the spirit of favor. It is the Holy Ghost that manifests the favor of God on people's lives in the Bible. Remember, Joseph found favor with Potiphar. And when Potiphar's wife lied on him, they threw him in prison. And when he was in prison, the Bible says the Lord was with him. But wait a minute. The Bible says the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. So the spirit of favor was on Joseph's life, even in prison. You can't keep a man. I feel the Holy Ghost, man. You can't keep a man down that's full of the Holy Ghost. Can I preach a few minutes to somebody? That's why they can't keep you down. That's why they can't stop you. The reason they can't stop you is because you are full of the Holy Ghost every time. That's why the Bible says, though a good man falls seven times, he going to rise again. Why is he going to rise again? Because he is full of the Holy Ghost. And my Bible says, it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord God. The Bible says, if the spirit of him that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he shall also quicken your mortal body. That means he he is going to empower you. He is going to give you supernatural intelligence. He is going to give you supernatural insight. He would speak to you through visions. He would speak to you through dreams. He would speak to you through the word of God. He would speak to you through the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Who is it that I'm preaching to tonight? The, the Holy Ghost told me coming in to 2016. He said, tell my people, 2016, it's the year of manifestation. It's the year. Glory, glory, glory. It's the year of divine manifestation. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, the Bible says, but the manifestation of the Holy Ghost is given to every man. That's every man in the body of Christ. Everyone that's willing to yield to the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, but the manifestation of the Holy Ghost is given to every man to profit with all of them. The word profit means when the Holy Holy Ghost begins to manifest in your life. You gonna benefit yourself. You gonna benefit your family. You gonna benefit those that are connected to you. Who am I preaching to tonight? You about to benefit because the Holy Ghost is about to manifest Himself in your life. That's why Jesus said in John fourteen twenty one. He said, "If a man love me, he will obey my word, and I will come to him. My Father will love him, and we will." Manifest manifest ourselves to him. How, how is he going to manifest himself to you? It's going to be the Holy Ghost. He going to manifest the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to your life. He is going to manifest the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Listen, that's why Jesus said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come on you. One of the, one of the translation for the word power right there is dunamis. Means like an explosive force, an explosive power of miracles and signs and wonders. Like a dynamite, they would put a stick of dynamite under a big old mountain. And when that dynamite explodes, the mountain scatters all over the place like dust. My God, you are full of the Holy Ghost. Every time they put you down and try to pile stuff on you, bam, you explode and you come out. That's why the Bible says the snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keep it deep doesn't slumber nor sleep. The Holy Ghost, he is your comforter. He 
is the one that empowers you. He is the one that equips you. He is the one that, that's going to cause you to be promoted. That's why the Bible says, my God, the enemy will come against you one way, but he's going to flee seven different ways. That's why the Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, he will multiply the works of your hands. He is going to increase you. He is going to open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive and he will rebuke the devourer for your sake because you are anointed. You are chosen. You are equipped. You are the head and not the tail. You're above only and not beneath. My God, somebody help me praise him here. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. I said you're chosen. Are you listening to me, friend? I said you are chosen. I said you are chosen. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is with you this very second. You know why you're feeling the presence of God? You know why you're feeling the presence of God? That's the manifestation. That's the manifestation. That's the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. You know why you can understand what I'm preaching to you? Because I have to preach and teach under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Because without the Holy Ghost, I can't explain these things to you. And without the Holy Ghost, you are not able to understand or comprehend what I'm saying to you. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Verse 12, he says, we have not received the spirit of the world, but we have received the spirit which is from God, that we might know, that we may understand, that we may comprehend the things that are freely given to us by God. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. My God, just lift your hands to heaven and help me worship God and thank him for placing the Holy Ghost in our lives. God, we thank you. God, we worship you. God, we magnify you. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you, God, for the anointing of the Spirit of God. We refuse, God, to compromise. We thank you. We thank you for the Holy Ghost in our lives. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Come on, just lift your hands. Say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. My God, my God, my God. Come on, somebody, help me worship him. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, he's a mighty God. Come on saints, forget about yourself. Come on, just worship him. Just open your mouth and worship him. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. He's giving someone peace right now. He's giving someone peace right now. Someone's been frustrated. The attacks of the enemy been coming against you, but it's broken right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Those demons that's been attacking your life, they are subdued by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Come on, somebody. Come on, help me worship him. We love you, Jesus. We magnify you. We thank you, God. God, as we go into the word of God, talking don't about stop, and teaching stop, about the Holy Ghost. God, we pray in the name Come of on, Jesus that place. those who have not yet experienced the baptism in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking with other tongues, God. We pray that as they watch these broadcasts, God, we pray that, that you would fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire because John prophesied there is one coming after me talking about Jesus who is mightier than I. John said, I'm not even worthy to bend down and untie his shoe latchet. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. Friend, if you find yourself frustrated, trying to figure it out on your own, that's not the will of God. For you to struggle and just try to figure it out. He said, when the Holy Ghost comes, 
Jesus said he will teach you all things. And I just want you to lift your hands to heaven right now. Say, God, I surrender. I surrender, Lord. I surrender. I'm in agreement with you, my brother Carlo. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, Lord, I surrender in the name of Jesus. For that business, my brother Carlo, the Holy Ghost is the answer. The Holy Ghost is the key. The Holy Ghost is the key. Man, I was so hungry for the power of God back in 99. I, I just did not want to be an ordinary preacher because when I look in my Bible, I saw Jesus opening the eyes of the blinds, unstopping the ears of the deaf, making the cripples to walk. I saw the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Peter, the Apostle John, signs, wonders, and miracles fall on those men. Elijah, Elisha, I was so hungry for the power of God. I said, God, I'm, I'm a preacher, but I'm, I'm not seeing what they're saying. What do I need to do? Man, listen, January, no, it was uh, October, October the 16th, about 2.30 that morning. I felt God stirring my heart to go downstairs in our apartment. God said, go down in the living room and pray, son. I'm going to speak to you. Thank God for a good wife because I was struggling. My wife said, babes, obey God. I went down there, seek the face of God. And while I was on my knees, the Holy Ghost gave me the answer to the power of God. He showed me from Scripture. Luke 4, 13, after Jesus returned out of the wilderness from off a 40 day and 40 night fast, he tapped into the power of God. That was my answer. And immediately I went on a 40 day fast, 40 days, 40 nights. I went all the way from October 16 and did not end that fast till November 25th. I was on a fast for five and a half weeks and eight days, eight to 12 days after that fast was over, I was preaching a meeting where I was the youth pastor and miracles began to happen. The real power of God came into my life. Listen here, friend, the Holy Ghost is the answer. That thing that's been haunting you because you've been needing an answer. You've been saying, I need an answer. I need, listen here, friend, the Holy Ghost. The answer is the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? The answer is the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, he shall teach you all things. Lord, I impart wisdom right now. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and receive. Lord, I impart the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. To everyone that's a part of this live broadcast, to everyone that's watching the rebroadcast, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, God, whether it's Periscope or Catch Me, bless them. Let the wisdom of the Holy Spirit be imparted right now. Wisdom, the wisdom of God being imparted into your life, friend. The wisdom of God from the Holy Ghost being imparted into your life. Come on, just lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive wisdom. I receive it, God. I receive wisdom right now. I receive supernatural insight. I receive supernatural intelligence from the Holy Ghost right now, God, in the name of Jesus. I command you to prosper. I said, I command you to prosper. I command you to be successful. I command the blessings of God on your life. The windows of heaven open over your life. In the name of Jesus, you will experience all that God has for you. Beginning this year, beginning now, I declare it as a servant of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Saturate their homes. Everyone watching this broadcast. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit, God. Let the presence of the Holy Ghost. Let the presence of Jesus. Let the presence of God saturate their homes. Where there's confusion and frustration and anger and arguments, drive those spirits out. Let the presence of God come into those homes. Let people walk in love towards one another, God. I drive that confusion out. Are you listening to me? I break the power of the enemy. I break that attack on your life. I break that attack on your family. I break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace be still. I release the peace of God in your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, we're going to continue every evening for the next however long God let me keep going. We're going to keep teaching on the Holy Ghost because this is very important. 
Did anyone receive a blessing tonight? Listening to this word. Come on. Did anyone receive insight tonight? Did you receive wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on tonight? That's what the Holy Ghost does. It's the Holy Ghost. We won't touch the glory because without the Holy Spirit, we can't even teach. Are you hearing me? We can't heal the sick. It's the Holy Ghost working through us that's healing the sick, opening the eyes of the blind, unstopping the ears of the deaf. It's not Pastor Sean. It's the Holy Ghost that lives in these vessels that's working the miracles because we can't even heal a fly. We can't heal a mosquito, but the Holy Ghost in you flowing through your body can heal anybody can heal AIDS. We were in Uganda earlier this year. There were five people completely healed of AIDS, verified. No longer have HIV in their body. The power of God. We serve a God of miracles. Aren't you glad we are serving Jesus? He is the only wise God. We love you guys. God bless you. Have an awesome week. We'll see you on here again tomorrow. And remember, our special Meeting is always that Thursday night at 7 p.m. Every one of these broadcasts is special, but 7 p.m., we go after it. Amen? God bless you guys. We love you. Keep hungering after Jesus. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're a fanatic. You're not a fanatic. You are someone that's hungry for God. You refuse to settle for the sample. Amen? The Bible says, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. God bless you guys. We love you. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.